Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When formatting Gantt charts, you can change the appearance of columns within the task list shown at the left side of the Gantt chart view. In this lesson, we will examine the buttons found within the Columns button group on the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. You can insert many different columns into the Gantt Chart view to display whatever task-related project data you want. To insert a column into the column list, select the column to the right of the place where you want to insert a new column. New columns will be inserted to the left of the selected column. Then click the Insert Column button in the Columns button group. A new column will automatically be inserted and a drop-down list of the names of the possible columns to display appears. Click the name of the column that contains the information you want to view from the drop-down list. You can also add a column to the far right end of the columns shown at the left side of the Gantt chart by clicking the drop-down arrow in the column heading for the column labeled Add New Column. Then select the name of the column to add from the drop-down listing that appears to append the selected column to the far right end of the column list. To change the alignment of text within a selected column, click into the column and then click the desired button in the Columns button group, left, center, or right. If you want the text entered into a column to use text wrapping, click into the desired column and then click the Wrap Text button in the Columns button group. When text wrapping is enabled, text automatically displays on the next line within a cell when it reaches the right end of a cell versus cutting off the display of the cell's text. To hide the display of a column, simply click into the desired column and then click the Column Settings drop-down button in the Columns button group. Then choose the Hide Column command from the drop-down menu that appears. To change other attributes of a selected column, such as the title displayed in the Columns heading, click into the desired column and then click the Column Settings drop-down button in the Columns button group. Then choose the Field Settings command to open the Field Settings dialog box. Then set any available property shown in this dialog box to your desired setting. The Field Name setting determines the data shown within the column. The title setting determines the title shown in the column heading for the selected field data. The Align Title and Align Data drop-downs let you select a text alignment for the column's title and data. The Width field allows you to set the width of the column. You can check the Header Text Wrapping checkbox to allow column titles to wrap their text display. To automatically resize the column to best display all available text within the column, click the Best Fit button. Once you've set the options you want, click the OK button to apply them to your selected column. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.